Very often, my students teach each other much more than I ever taught them. I know that that's what I learned from. I learned from talking to my friends a lot more than I learned from any teacher. Uh, anything else I learned, I learned from having to justify my own responses. Uh, in other words, while I was trying to justify my own responses to students' work, I was learning about what writing was really concerned to do. Edison, I want to read uh, at, w at least one uh, from this, the new, the new Stern book. Uh, he uh, is a poet who uh, I think he teaches uh, somewhere in Iowa, as I recall. Uh, this is just, I think, such a nice little poem. It's called Hidden Justice. By the way, I think he's coming here next semester to read justice. Oh. To read. Good old hidden justice. Well, I don't know. They were, we were asking him, and I think we've got some money. The undergraduates got together some money to get him here, right. which would be Stern mm, or justice there. now? We're justice. talking about justice. Okay. Hidden justice. <laughs> this is my forest now, this Christmas cactus, stretching out leaf after leaf, pink blossom after pink blossom. This is where I'll go to breathe and live in darkness and sit like a frog and sit like a salamander. And this is where I'll find a tiny light and have my vision and start my school in this dry and airy place beside these trunks in this fragrant mixture. I will put my small stage here under a thick leaf and I will eat and sleep and preach right here. And I will put my two dogs there to keep my two guards busy with <laughs> prayer and feeding. I will live completely for the flowering, my neck like a swan, my fingers craw clawing the air, looking for justice, year after year the same, my fingers clawing the air for hidden justice. <laughs> <laughs> there must be some somewhere. <laughs>